They would have insomnia. Massachusetts General Law, 30, Chapter 30. Maybe I'm, oh, maybe. Yeah, I missed those pages. Uh, so we're all set anytime. Okay. Okay, let's uh, open the meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America, America to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and it is all, liberty and justice for all. Welcome to our meeting, our June meeting. Um, first thing I'd like to do is introduce uh, one of our new trustees, Joyce Yedizinski. And uh, Joyce, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to run, run for office? I decided to run for office because I didn't see anyone stepping up from the town and I just wanted to volunteer my time and give back to the community. Mm -hmm. My kids enjoy the library, they grew up the Dudley Library, so it was a good choice. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, our other trustee is Harrison Records, and I do expect he will be uh, joining us shortly. Um, and can uh, introduce himself and, and give you a little background. Um, okay, we'd like to uh, review the minutes of the April 24th meeting. I have some corrections. Okay. In the second paragraph, number one, second paragraph, he in the set third sentence should be she, and he in the... Uh, she. Hang on, um, uh, which one are we doing? Uh, number one? Number one, okay. second paragraph, yeah. third sentence. Yeah. She has a degree in journalism. Okay. Uh, and then the third sentence, he has recently, should be she has recently. Mm -hmm. And... I'm sorry, where's that third? Oh, okay, she the two sentences, the second and third sentence. The he's should be she's. Okay. Um, and under library director's monthly report, mm -hmm. um, about halfway, it says over towards the right, about halfway down on 41818, yeah. Donna May, yeah. it's M A Y, not M A I. Okay. Those were the only corrections I, I saw. Okay. I'd like to move that we accept the minutes as amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I just want to make some notes here because I'll take, uh, I'll do the minutes. <laughs> going to defer action on the uh, executive session minutes from April until we have a full board, so we'll do that in July. Um, okay. Let me see if... I'll go, sure. want to check and see if Stephanie will be Where would they be? Uh, uh, I would guess, yeah, possibly be. Not uh, carrying from the... I, I can whip through my stuff pretty quick. Okay. <laughs> I do have some, but it's mostly just swag. I do. Uh, can I just snag one because I, I thought I printed it, but I didn't. Print. I looked at it, but you didn't print it. I usually do some extras. <laughs> garden is doing very well in this garden. Oh, oh the bees. Yeah, the bees are, are loving everything right now. We were busy at the time. Of course, we got the bees Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the bee um, is a great old fence. So well, hello. Can you try to sit anywhere? Well, the chair in here, that's okay. where we typically... Okay, thank you. Hi, Stephanie. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you on the nice porch. You. Sort of the stand-in uh, chair for the evening. Okay. Uh, and uh, do you, anyone like to introduce themselves, please? Sure. I'm Karen Wall, the library director. Joyce Nerdzinski, newly elected trustee. <laughs> oh, I'm Kathy Carpignani, trustee. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Oh, Richard Clark, trustee. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Uh, nice to meet you. Well, thank you for your application. 
Um, now, I was curious, how did you find out about the uh, position? Was it just going through the volunteer page and the... Yes, it was. Yeah, okay. Yep. I thought it might be because I noticed you applied there and then uh, attached to a letter. I always keep an eye out, just, you know, cases I think I'm interested in and I like to keep aware of what's open and mm -hmm. things like that for the town. Good. We have a list of questions um, of course. that we'll ask our applicants. Um, and uh, are you a patron of the Crawford Library? Yep. Okay. And how often do you visit? Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of um, electronic. I uh, use the Access app mm -hmm. or um, the Overdrive. Yeah, okay. Is that Libby? Have you tried Libby yet? Uh, no, I haven't, but I do have it there. Um, Libby seems to be for like more books that aren't format compatible mm -hmm. to like Kindle and stuff. Yeah. So I haven't had any books that I needed to use Libby yet. Okay. Uh, why do you wish to be a trustee? I think you told us a little bit of that, but for the folks, we are being video uh, recorded, so uh, the folks who may be watching will like, know a little bit about you. Uh, I've always had a passion for the library. Uh, I didn't think about getting involved in the last couple of years. Uh, I think it had to do with a lot of maturing and growing up and realizing that when you get to a certain age, you want to do something to give back towards your community. Um, and these, you know, um, I have a couple of nieces and nephews and their education is so important to me. And I feel like they don't know about a lot of these resources that the library has for them. And I think it, I thought it was important to make sure I become involved so that I can help people understand that the library is changing with the times and there are resources to help aid children and even adults. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Um, in your opinion, what role should a library play within the community? I believe that the library should play a supportive role in the community. Um, making sure that people know that it's there, what new developments are are happening. Sorry, I lost track there. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we planned that to throw you off track. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty deep. Seemed it a little. Um, and I think that we should all try to get other members of the community more active as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, this is Harrison Records. He's also a new trustee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. What qualities do you have that would help the board uh, library improve? Help the board what? I'm sorry? The board slash library improve. Um, I could believe I could bring um, a lot of skill sets that um, I've learned at my job. I currently work at Map Free Insurance, mm -hmm. and even though it's about insurance, you still learn a lot of things about dealing with other people, um, implementing certain trainings that help an organization, um, and I feel like that's where my major skills are, mm -hmm. efficiency and training, um, and I feel like I could bring that uh, to the board as well. Excuse me, sure. uh, what is your position with Map Free? I work in the insurance uh, operations department right now. Um, I keep getting promoted, so I I have had a couple different positions in the last couple of years. Right. Um, currently, I'm working in our agency interface department to help train and assist agents. Before that, I worked in our commercial audit department, servicing commercial business policies and underwriting. And then before that, I did uh, some personal lines and claims adjusting. So you've had a lot of contact with a variety of different people in those various functions. Correct. I am the kind of person that likes to have a whole view of something mm -hmm. and know something from every different aspect. Um, so that's where I bounce around a lot so I can get all those different types of training to assist me to know, even if I'm doing this, it affects something else in a different way. Okay. Holistic approach. Mm -hmm. Are there any changes you'd like to see at our library? I feel like the one thing about the library is that even though it's there, I feel like people aren't aware of maybe a lot of the changes that occur within the library, keeping up with technology and things like that. 
Um, like I was talking to one of my friends a couple weeks ago, telling her about how I got a book to a DVD or a CD to read in my car from the library, and she was like, "You can do that." <laughs> And I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, you can get DVDs, you know, audiobooks, all kinds of things. And I feel like some just we need to get the word out that we are expanding with that technology. Are you signed up for our e-newsletter? No, I'm not. I wasn't aware there was an e-newsletter. <laughs> it's right on our website. It says sign up for our e-newsletter. Okay. Yeah. That's what we use as our primary vehicle to let people know. And we've got we've got over a thousand people signed up. Yeah. Good. Yeah. We have a Facebook page and I am on the Facebook page. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Um, two part question. Uh, do you consider this a long term commitment? I would like it to be a long term commitment. Yes. Okay. As this appointment will end uh, at the town election in June of 2019. Will having to collect 50 signatures from Dudley registered voters to put your name on the ballot for another three years, three-year term, affect your decision? In order to run for election, you have to gather 50 yeah, signatures. I was actually aware of that. Um, I know somebody on the board in Douglas, mm -hmm. and he he told me about all of that. Okay. So I was aware of that, and I'm willing to do that. Okay. That's a bit of a trick. You need more than 50. Yes, you do. Because some of them are yeah, he told totally me he illegible. And uh, yeah, it may or may not be registered in living in Dudley yeah, and uh, will sign sure. anyway. Duplicates. <laughs> Please? Duplicates. Oh, yes, duplicates too. Oh, the infamous yeah. duplicates. So you need to go probably yeah, 20 so to 25 yeah, plus to yeah, 50, yeah, just exactly. to be sure. Absolutely. Right. Does anyone else have questions they would like to ask? Yes, certainly. How would you answer someone asking if libraries are still relevant today? I would advise absolutely they are. Libraries make themselves relevant to the times. And I think that that's something that people don't realize, as I've seen in my generation, which is one of the reasons I want to come forward and help, so we can make sure that, like the younger generation, how are they going to know if their parents aren't bringing them to the library like my parents did when I was a child? You mentioned in your letter that you are uh, enrolled in the insurance institutes and obtaining a degree, and that would be a degree in? In insurance. In insurance, specific insurance. Correct. Specific. It's uh, a general associates for insurance, and then you can get designated for different insurance specialties. You also know that your supervisors are called you indispensable. Yes. Why? Um, I tend to be a very big go-getter, and I learn extremely quickly and my bosses see that as someone that they can go to and know that they can get something done. Um, I actually wanted to show you guys some of my performance evaluations from work. Um, so I can email those out. They were like, you know, 20 pages and the thought of all that paper, literally. Yeah. Uh, but I, I can email you my performance evaluation so you guys can see that on paper. Okay. Well, I will have you in, uh, email it to me and I will show uh, you. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we mentioned we meet once a month. Yes. Right now it's the fourth Tuesday of the month. Right. And the meetings are at 5:15. I know you look at Marf Race or the distance is not great, although the traffic from Webster would be ridiculous <laughs> at any yeah. time of day. Uh, and there is a requirement that the bills or invoices in the library, that they are located in the library, be signed on a weekly basis. And that's usually we usually try to get that done by. Monday? Usually by the end of the day on Tuesday. Uh, Karen has to bring those over to this building and uh, mm -hmm. sort of the better in terms of any anxiety on her part. So it means it just requires you stopping into the library right. to verify checks and balances kind yeah. of the building. Yep. It, it usually doesn't take very long, but it, it's, it serves another purpose too. It gets you in the building. It gets you in the building yeah. and it, it gives you an opportunity to see what's going on in the library. Um, find out uh, some of the books, the audio books, uh, mm -hmm. some of the uh, maintenance that needs to be required to be approved bills for maintenance also. And, but it uh, sounds like you already frequent the library. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, MAPRI also, they're very flexible about schedule, so mm -hmm. it, it won't be an issue oh. if I need to come at any time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do have. We have in the past had Emergency special meetings, meetings <laughs> that, you know, uh, that, uh, 
other than the Tuesday date. So. We, we need, because we're a six-person board, uh, we need to have four people to, to have the floor to, to hold a meeting. Other than that, we can't do that. Okay, very good. I have some a, a few additional questions here because we do have some time. Um, can you describe a situation where you initiated change? What was it and what steps did you take? In my current position, um, I often will come up with procedural changes for the company. Um, for example, uh, some of our systems will have issues where they could be automated, and I will actually submit project requests to our information technology department so that they can automate some of those things so someone doesn't actually have to go in and manually process them to save the company time and money. Mm -hmm. um, so I have done that at work um, for different transactions, for do not renew, uh, renewals generating and being pushed out without anyone having to look at them unless they fled for an underwriting reason, things of that nature. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do you oversee anyone in, the, in your department? Uh, currently I do not because I just started my new position okay. um, a month ago. Right. But before that I did all the training uh, in my department. So then this is a good question. What motivates you? And part two is, um, have you used these motivators with others? Um, motivation. I feel like my one of my primary motivations is um, education. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important for continuing uh, and anything that you do if you want to have you know a specialty and you want to grow and learn um, and I think it's smart when you have any resource that you can learn from to make sure that you make yourself available for that. How would you explain the importance of a library to a potential donor? I would describe the library as as a getaway from your life a, a place where oh, I do. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> We're just thinking of Karen, our library director. Who spends her whole life there. <laughs> it's not really getting no, it's away. It's a getaway from my life. <laughs> anyway, I just feel like it's a place where you can grow as a person, no matter where you're trying to grow. Yeah. There's, you know, there's resources to grow culturally, to facilitate research, and. I feel like that's a place you can go to expand who you want to be. Or if you want to get away, to just get to a fantasy world. <laughs> Anyone else? What are you passionate about? I am very passionate about reading and my nieces and my nephews. What do you like to read? Uh, I like, I'm very eclectic. I like reading very different things. I'll get into different genres for like a couple months and then switch it. Mm -hmm. um, I went on a sci-fi kick for a while and now I'm on true crime. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> okay, very good. Anyone else? Do you have any questions for us? Yeah. You know, seriously, I mean, you've, you've been a patron of the library for some time and some thoughts in terms of things that you'd like to see, perhaps. Mm -hmm. you know, um, where do you see us fitting into that picture? Or you, perhaps, as a member of the board? Well, when you guys want to make a change, how do you implement that? Well, what kind of a change? Yes. Well, say you want to get a program going. You know, like, you obviously have to develop a budget and a plan, but, like, from there, how does it get into effect? Library director. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you can uh, explain to Stephanie a little bit about how find out about what's sure. going on. Oh, sure. Um, so programming um, comes to me in different ways. Um, other library directors, um, listservs, I read the newspaper, I stay in touch, read the journals. Um, the trustees may mention a program to me and I'll look into it. Um, my staff, uh, colleagues. Um, so once the idea you know, takes hold, you know, we, I sit and chat with the staff and see if they think that it's something that would do well in our, you know, in our area. Or if we even want to try it. I take into consideration the cost, funding, um, registration, things of that nature. I usually call the presenter, uh, try to find someone to run the program or facilitate the program. 
and from there it gets scheduled and um, um, press releases done and you know we promote it and take registration if we decide to do that and then it just happens and we keep so then we keep so the track all on you <laughs> yeah yes I mean the dynamic, I'm just teasing. <laughs> the dynamic is pretty much you know um, the you know the running of the library is is, is my job um, but any if, if I ever wanted to um, make policy changes or the board wanted mm -hmm. to make a policy change we would we would do that together mm -hmm. and it would be with their approval mm -hmm. I, I would not make a policy change without their approval right. so that's it's there's more to it than that but in a nutshell that's kind of the, mm -hmm. the dynamic mm -hmm. sure Karen is very aware of our community um, she's gotten to know the people in the community and so she knows what appeals to them and uh, so many of the programs are here in that fashion right. I recognize you from the library. You do. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. That's a good thing. <laughs> we'll use this out of the post office. Not in <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm, I'm not in my office a lot, but um, we have a small staff, so or ordinarily you'll see me, you know, zooming about the library or working at the front desk if I'm short staff. Okay. Summertime is a lot. Usually zipping around. Yeah, I'm zipping around. <laughs> but we, you know, even though I I'm familiar with the. Um, the, uh, the the community. It doesn't mean that I won't try something new. Right. You know that I you know might be a little out of the ordinary. We've got some we've got some things on the docket that are going to be new and mm -hmm. fun that we're going to try um, after summer reading in the fall. Is there any program that you'd like to see at the library? Um, not that I can think of off the top of my head right now. Um, I think you guys are doing a great job, absolutely. Um, just having a lot of, I feel like, the technical things that we have in our library is an amazing asset that not all libraries get to have. I mean, if you compared us to the old Webster Library, I mean, everybody knows they wanted to come here. I thought they compared us to the old Dudley Library. <laughs> 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 that everybody loved. I love yeah. that little library. Yeah, it was, it was sweet. <laughs> it served its purpose for many, many years. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only other question I have is what, sure. is, what is a typical meeting like with you guys? Uh, uh, typical, um, I can typically lasts about an hour. Yes, exactly. I'd say. Yeah. Um, usually we go through, Karen will give her report from the library, mm -hmm. and kind of touch base with us on all the different events that go on from the, from the past month, mm -hmm. which is great, and any new events that she might be leading up to. Um, we have old business, anything leading. Exactly, old business, new business. New business. Budget. Yeah. Budget. Yeah. Janitorial yeah. services. Yeah, Staffing. <laughs> facilities reports. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Everything like that, essentially. Anything new. And um, it doesn't mean that you can't come and chat with me any old time. Right. Um, I encourage that as well, just to kind of get to know, you know what we do there, meet the staff, that kind of thing. Right. Um, at some point, there will be a um, we invite the new trustees to come in and uh, sit down and talk about all the stuff that goes on, things that we need to be aware of, um, and hopefully at some point in the spring um, there will be a trustee orientation, which is exceptionally helpful. Right. Even after being a trustee for many years, I've attended them and they're really valuable. I'm sorry, Karen, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, there, there will be a trustee orientation oh. in the spring. Now, okay. there, there are some going on right now, but none of them are in central Massachusetts. So um, they are just in the so I did, seem to be somewhere I out did, there. I did uh, email um, Maura and ask her if we were going to have any. She said, how'd you like to sponsor one? So, oh, well, I'd love to have to one at the library. So sure. uh, we're, we're uh, checking out on that. Hopefully we'll have one here. Yeah, okay. So if, if you guys have any other questions, I'm happy to answer them. Yeah. 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 It's different locations. Usually in the evening. Yeah, six to eight. And during the week. Then. They change them. They, they used to be during the day, but I guess it depends on the area. So we'll see. But anyway, um, you know, that's something that's very valuable for any new trustee right. and old trustee. So, yes. Well, um, there's no other question. Oh, thank you.
Thank you for coming in. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. And I will be in touch with you. Okay. okay. Take care. Thank you so much for taking okay. the time out, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Well, actually, um, he's not going to be here until 6, so Karen, why don't you, uh... Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and after we can discuss the... Oh. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. First page is, um, we didn't meet in um, um, May, so I included um, my May, uh, May and June up to date. If there's blanks that means we haven't quite I haven't quite finished counting the stats for them yet um, real busy last couple of months um, I'm not going to go through every single um, accomplishment but um, the crafts are doing really well the story times are becoming much uh, more well attended and um, we're busy um, we have whoops I'll wait in the south oh. meeting room oh. You can continue as long as you're here. Oh, do you mind? No, I don't mind. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Seat, then. Dang. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got through it, right? Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. No problem. And you are? <laughs> Who am I? And Craver. Okay. Why don't you pretend that we don't know you? We <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Lifelong resident of Dudley. Uh, involved in the library for the last 18 years since I moved back a whole Webster to Dudley, but basically I consider myself a community member. Um, true lover of the library, head of all building the new library. How long have you been involved with things? 18 years. Um, I grew up in a family that believed in giving back to the community. That's kind of why I got involved. Have believe we have a super huge asset right here in Dudley, and I'm totally supportive of it. Mm -hmm. um, since you have had experiences, um, what changes would you like to see at our library? Changes. A larger budget. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of staff. Um, and with that, because then we might be able to do, we do a great, great programming for all ages, but there's always room for growth. But I do understand that that comes with a larger budget and a larger staff. Are you um, satisfied with the role that our library plays within the community? Very much so, yeah. I mean, we are, I consider the New Century Library slash Community Center. And a lot goes on in our library. It's just a, an asset. Mm -hmm. I mean, many towns are now calling them library slash community centers, but we are still the Pearl L. Crawford. And but we do do a lot more than just library. If anyone else has any questions, please. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a little strange in that you've seen these questions before. I know. It's an unusual situation, certainly. Uh, let's see. And what are you passionate about? What am I passionate about? Family. Yeah. Family. Family's number one in there. Mm -hmm. Library's up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my commitment and my time, I do have time to have the commitment to the library, which is helpful, yes. I know. Um, but I just do love it. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what initially got you involved in the library? Initially. If you can think of I think. think children's librarian when we were back in the beginning what, on friends board. Oh, Norma. Um, Norma, Norma, thank you. Norma Waterhouse. 
when I was in the library, way back then, said, there's a spot open for the library, and you're going to be on it. <laughs> Norma said, you should. And I said, I'll think about it, and turned out that's what it was. And Norma is responsible for me, too. <laughs> she was the Friends Get Out the Boat Committee oh, that started right. it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love Norma. Well, yes, yeah, we do. Yeah. Yep, we do. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. She has a hot in the right place. <laughs> Our library is thankful for it. <laughs> um, what program would you like to see brought to the library that they don't already do? Okay, if the resources were there, mm -hmm. what would I like? Um, Pretend we have the resources. That's what I'm saying. If the resources are there, exactly. I would say more computer education for all levels. It would be nice to have someone there who could really get in there because I think we have people of all ages who would take advantage of it. How many computers have we now? We have 25 computers in the present. Two of them are public access computers for the catalog. have four early literacy computers that are not internet related that are uh, loaded with educational software. Mm -hmm. And we have a staff person who does it part, 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 part time to help people. But I mean, it'd be nice to have a dedicated person to say, okay, mm -hmm. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, between 10, 11, come in and we'll mm -hmm. adapt to you. <laughs> and a programming person, separate, just dedicated to program at all levels, just have someone in the library, because I mean, that just takes a lot of time away from right. several staff people. Mm -hmm. It's just nice to have a person that would just be dedicated to programming. Again, that will go across all board age-wise. Mm -hmm. Ben, do you see a segment of the population that we're maybe not serving as well as we could now, and do you have any ideas on how we could serve them better? Probably our teens, which is a tough age no matter what. I mean, it's not just us, that's just in general. But again, a staff person that would be engaging and, you know, a young person that's engaged. I mean, Harrison's doing a great job with the kids. I mean, it's fabulous, you know, but a Harrison of the next age group that would just want to be gung-ho and connect with those kids, that would be great just to get them into the library. Because, I mean, you know, we hook them at that level, the real young ones, and then we seem to have this gap for a while, and then they go off to college, and then we kind of smith, come on back to us when they have their own kids. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we just kind of keep them on coming. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Um, I have a question. Is this the only letter I have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, that was simple. No, I'm good. Thank you. For the most part, most people know. Me. Yes. Are you prepared to collect fifty cents? Yes. Yes. Yes, no, yes no, ma'am. No, 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 I will not be bending on anyone else. <laughs> but I can say, I mean, this is this is fabulous. I am really happy with what's kind of it's all falling into place nicely. I'm not upset. This is a nice group of people. Uh, actually, I would, if you don't mind, could you explain what happened? Because I'm not sure that the oh, news article. Oh, okay. I went. That's a good point. Service. Yeah. I went on vacation, and because that was the primary nomination time period of collecting signatures, I gave two different people nomination papers to collect signatures from them. And they did a tremendous job, and I had over 60 some odd signatures. Uh, between the three of us, we got them. I looked at them, thought things were good. I should have been more conscientious and make sure I didn't have too many duplicates because that's what it ended up. I had too many duplicate names. The two people had collected signatures from the same people. And it's my own dang fault because I didn't check it closely enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify No, that. thank you. No, I'm, that's a good point. Good point. Misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. really yeah, no, it wasn't that I didn't want to yeah. be. It's my, my mistake. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
good? Good. Thank you. Good. All right. Thanks very much, Ben. Thanks, Ben. You do not wish me anymore, right? We're I can... all set. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. I know that will seem odd for you. What? <laughs> Reading, I know will seem odd. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can pretend I said, oh, I'm late. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. So, so we should uh, take a little time to discuss. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. First candidate. I loved her enthusiasm. I did too. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Energy. Like what I saw yeah. with her was energy. Yeah. Like exactly. Mm -hmm. I think she might be continuing something of a trend as the whole gets younger, yeah. so to speak, which is mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the demographics, not a bad thought. <laughs> me as someone who's a lifelong learner, and, uh, someone who has a certain excitement attached to the idea of working things and moving along with that. And uh, I think that can be kind of contagious at times in the right place. Mm -hmm. and, uh, speaks well of her, obviously. Mm -hmm. It sounds like she's doing very well where she is and is appreciated. They have an embarrassment of riches. <laughs> to some yeah, extent. she um, sure a light, a lovely letter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, well, I think it, it that speaks to her, her seriousness and her sincerity. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. She definitely yeah. is committed to making the uh, the effort mm -hmm. out front. Uh, Harrison, what do you have to say? I'm not really good with words. So, what you said. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm more of a process, like process in my head. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll speak about it, kind of person. So. Yeah, she seemed really nice, very focused, and an obvious love of the library, which is always a good thing. Right. I think it definitely shows her initiative that, I mean, her letter came May 23rd. You know, as soon as we, we pretty much, when Laura resigned. But but she said she'd been checking the volunteer opportunities on the website. That's why right. I asked right. because I know right. she came in first from the um, from the web. Do you happen to know the date that Laura resigned? I was at a it was great. Uh, was it at a meeting or no? No, no it was after that. I think it was wasn't it? Um, it was before the May meeting. Definitely. She was with us in March. It was the beginning of May because I remember being at a select meeting right. and hearing it. So it was like, this was not too far after. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's kind of, it's nice to see that she put a lot of a lot of thought into this. Mm -hmm. and she's willing to send us her, her references. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Her job, not job that I'm to see those, but um, I, I just would hate to lose her enthusiasm mm -hmm. and lose that kind of volunteer. Mm -hmm. Anyone else have any comments? Stress uh, when learning that uh, his name is not going to be on the ballot because he certainly was committed to uh, continuing on as a library trustee. Um, while I feel uh, Stephanie uh, definitely had the enthusiasm, um, I feel that our board right now needs someone still who has some uh, knowledge, ongoing knowledge of the process. Um, ongoing knowledge of um, the process of, you know, of even building the new library uh, with what goes on. Um, we have a young board right now. Um, I'm probably, I am the oldest I've been on the board. I think this is my 11th year. Um, two very new people. Mm -hmm. um, Richard, is this your third year? Mm -hmm. third year? Kathy, in your second. Mm -hmm. So um, I think having someone with the knowledge of the library, of the process of the library, of the history of the library, um, would be valuable still. I 
I believe that Stephanie, Stephanie would have definitely have a place um, in the future. I'm just not sure if that's right now. So, I guess for me, mm -hmm. I'm a little, I'm a little torn mm -hmm. because I agree with what you're saying, and I and I feel that. I also feel that you can call Ben in a heartbeat and he's going to answer any questions you have. Mm -hmm. um, and that we will have opportunities in the future for other board members to come on. Um, I, I see Stephanie going for this and going at it. I, you know, I ran on the election. I campaigned my heart out. I didn't see Ben with one sign to get any right in votes. Mm -hmm. So I didn't I, know he was a write-in candidate. Right. I didn't I got one email. So I, I just I don't know. I and I and I you know, I have a lot of people in the community that are saying, Well, if you wanted it, you should have asked for my vote. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's where I'm torn. Um, I have someone that is sitting in front of me who really wants that. Mm -hmm. I really like Stephanie. I thought she was a good candidate. I do see your side saying that Ben has the experience and all that, but I don't see how any of us can't step up and learn what we need to learn for this board to continue right. and to push the library forward in a positive direction and help Karen and the library any way we can. Mm -hmm. It's a learning process. It's a learning process for anyone that steps on the board. Uh, well, to some extent, Ben has been with the board I mean, 18 years, did he say? Yeah. Stephanie is something of a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if we did not offer her the opportunity, and whether she would continue with the same level of interest or be, or be here for the next opportunity that might come down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, not to say that we have anything in our pocket, but I think Ben would more likely be the one who would be back with us again. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie might channel her enthusiasm in other directions. Mm -hmm. I think she has some opportunities, obviously, with her employer and other things are certainly lacking in town as far as any number of boards. She can probably find herself very comfortably on. Uh, ben, I think, is not to say a one trick pony, but I think he's, he's library board trustees or probably not much of anything else, frankly. I can see him coming back here. But not really going anywhere in terms of planning, but I doubt very much that you find that very comfortable. But I don't know if we could take advantage of that and consider it kind of a reserve sort of candidate. Uh, I don't know if it's appropriate to make a motion at this time or not. If it is, if it mm -hmm. Chair Pro Temp. Uh, I would like to put forth uh, Stephanie Ford as a candidate for the position. And uh, the name of the argument for the select. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm not sure I did that in the right order. Any discussion? <laughs> yes, it's supposed to come first, oh. but I think we've had that discussion. Okay. Um, opposed? I'm going to abstain on this one. Okay, and uh, so it's uh, so moved. Uh, Stephanie will be asked to uh, join us on the board. Okay. Who would be calling Stephanie? Hi. Okay. And I will also be calling Stephanie. Okay. Um, shall we proceed with Karen? Sure. So we had a very busy May and June. Um, just hit a couple of highlights. Uh, we, we've had um, some crafts on Mondays, and those have been going very well. Mm -hmm. um, between 15 and 20 uh, kids. And um, most recently, in um, mid-June, we hosted the first graders from Mason Road. That was fun. Mm -hmm. We had two bus of kids in, and Miss Pam did a great job. Uh, we talked all about um, summer reading, 
and um, showed them around the library and they all had a blast. They were fun. Um, we had, um, we, we've had uh, Dead Legends back to do her sing and swing. We've engaged with her. She incorporates music and story and uh, visits quite a few of the area libraries. So we have her book September through December at this point as well. Um, as a monthly? She comes monthly? September Once a month. Yeah. Yep. Karen, do you plan on having her on Saturdays at all? I know that Mary loved it. I can't remember what day in the, in the fall we're having her. We I could look into that, Kathy. Just as a working mom, like, and my kids are at daycare, like, they kind of miss out sometimes on those things, but... I don't think she does Saturdays. Oh, ah, okay. That's the, the <laughs> thing. Okay. Um, but I will look into it. They, they there's they no reason why we can't. Yeah. Time. What's they that? They had a wonderful time. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, she's great. Um, I'll definitely look into that. I, I want to say when I was swapping her, she was supposed to be the Friday morning of the school visit. And I had to shuffle around the deck a little bit to make both things happen. And I remember checking with her. But I could be mistaken. Let me, let me find her. Thanks. The school visit went well? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was fun. We, we gave them all swag bags with summer reading programs in them, pencils, erasers, mm -hmm. things like that. Fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, anyway, uh, we are um, we are coming. Let's see. So, just flip to the. I just want to talk briefly about upcoming because we are right on the cusp of our summer reading program starting. It's, it's sign up is tomorrow. Sign up is tomorrow, and it runs. You know, so it runs through August sixteenth. Um, but we start off tomorrow with two mad science programs. I know one of them, the registration is full already. And yes, and the other one might be nearly full, but I, I don't think they'll, they might not turn away people if they just show up. Um, but anyway, um, so we have sonic sounds in the morning and dry ice capades in the afternoon. We've had my, mad science before and always a good draw, and they do a great job with their programming. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday, we welcome back Dino Man, and if you've ever experienced Dino Man, it's something to behold. He comes with this enormous inflated dino dinosaur that takes up pretty much the whole children's room. Um, so, What time is that on Saturday? 11 o'clock, no registration. Get there early, get a seat early. Mm -hmm because it will be full. Um, How long is this presentation going It's about? approximately an hour-ish. Um, and all of the, I, I just want to point out that all of our events and programs are on our calendar, on our website. So that is, I'm not going to cover every single program. That will, you, you, you will appreciate that because you would never get home tonight. Um, but I did include, um, we do have summer reading program flyers for the kids. They are in the library now. So stop on by tomorrow, sign up for summer reading, and this is all ages. This program is for children and teens, and we have a separate one for adults. The adult program, sign up at the front circulation desk. Teen program, sign up at the front circulation desk. And children's program, you sign up in the children's room. And there's all kinds of weekly drawings and prizes and crafts and um, grand prizes and programs, too numerous to list. So um, on the adult side, there's no age limit. There's no age no limit. Age. You mean on the upper end? On the upper end. Where else? <laughs> That's Definitely not. I find myself here right now. <laughs> and as a special, I did this last year and it was fun. I did a, a trivia contest last year for a grand prize. This year, I am doing a tri another trivia contest, um, and it's 10 questions. Pick it up at the front desk and answer all. You don't have to fill it out in the library. You can turn it in any. Yes. You can turn it in any time up until August 16th, and be entered into a drawing for a Bose Bluetooth speaker. 
that's the grand prize. Um, and the first 25 to sign up get a special book bag with the library's rock theme on it. It's really nice. Too bad staff is not I should have ordered more than 25. Um, but the, um, I just want to point out that the teen, the teen um, summer reading program is very similar to last year as well. Um, it's a weekly, um, kids come, they check out books, they get a, a little slip that amounts to a book review, a little mini book review. Mm -hmm. What did you think? And they need to fill out one a week, so seven total. They can do seven books all at once, you know, if they're fast readers. Turn those in. Um, they get tickets for weekly gift card drawings. And their grand prize is also a Bluetooth speaker as well. So um, try to keep up with what's popular yeah, for the grand exactly. prizes. And then there are all kinds of crafts and things going on for the teens as well. Uh, we have uh, teen improv. We have candy sushi. We have paint punk rocks. Uh, name that decade game. Movies and a book night. So um, again, everything is on our handy dandy um, flyer. And uh, the, the kids program, um, I'm not even going to get into the, the nuts and bolts of it because it's just too much. But you will get a folder with all of the instructions in the library when you come sign up. And um, again, there are, you know, there's fun things that they get every day. There's programs, we have a big program going on every single week during summer reading, except for next week, which is 4th of July. Um, but, um, and then the, it, it culminates on the 16th with the Toe Jam to Puppet Band and ice cream sandwiches. Nice. So. Good thinking about those ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> that was not, that was Pam's idea, that so. Was perfect. Um, or Patty's. I can't remember, but someone came up with it. I thought, oh, that's a very good idea. <laughs> We had the melting factor last yeah. year. <laughs> so um, lots of things going on. And I just, um, one more thing um, that I wanted to talk about is our Pearl Jam um, 2018 concert series that runs from July through uh, December. We've got lots of great bands. We have a couple of return bands. Mandeville and Richards will be here in August. And um, Anya Minouj will be here in December to do a Celtic Christmas. Um, we've got these flyers at the library that list all of the uh, performers, mm -hmm. thanks to Pat and her graphic design expertise. And I, I last but not least, I'd I would just like to thank the, uh, the Crawfords, the summer reading program, everything from the summer reading program and the Pearl Jam concert series have been funded by the UW and Harriet K. Crawford Endowment Fund for the Pearl L. Crawford Memorial Library. That's a mouthful. Um, but they are very generous in supporting these programs, so we thank them. Um, that's it for upcoming programs, so that's going to be our summer, and then we'll have about a week reprieve. And, um, and oh yeah, during this whole time, we have normally suspended our story times, but we're not doing that this year. And Pam's going to keep up. She doesn't want to have kids lose their momentum. And you know, you build up the rapport with these children on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, so she was game. Um, and then I believe South County is, is going to hang out and do one per week. They're normally they're two per week, but they're going to continue on and they're going to incorporate some, um, I believe, some maker programs. So some STEM programs for the, the kids too. So a lot going on. At the While point. we're talking about um, calendars and all that, when I printed it offline and all that, is there, I didn't know if there was a reason, or maybe you do it so far in advance, you don't know what time yet. That was the only thing I didn't like, is I didn't know a time of when things were happening from the online. When you go online to your website, you don't know what time the events are. It or should anything. say. Yeah. 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 You, know, even when I you might it, have to. No time. You know what? When you no times at all. When is you it print, just because I printed it that? When you print that calendar, it won't print the times because there's. I don't oh. think there's any room. All that's right. Because that was my thing. Is like, oh, I printed it, but there's no time. But that's that's kind of why we we do our own um, yep. as well. Yeah. Um, so 
which is I know a lot of people access the library through on like they go online. So yeah. many people have smartphones, and that's the first thing they do is they go. And they, the they times go are on the calendar, absolutely on the oh, calendar. Okay. Um, but they're not. If you, you put a print it, it, it they won't. Out. They won't yeah. print out. But if you if you are looking at our calendar on your yeah, on your see, phone, I didn't pay attention to that. But I just you know, you know what I mean. I printed it and had them, and I was just like, oh, it is no times. Right. Um, yeah, that's not, it's, it's a program that yep. is, hell, is uh, managed by our content management system, so, yep. um, but anyway, but if you are looking at it on your mobile device, there are, the, the times time are on there, power. and there's, you know, contact back. information is there, yep. there's way more than you get just with the printout, it just doesn't render when, when you go to print yep. out the web page, okay. so, um, but we do also publish the the calendars um, in paper format because people really like to take those, okay. and those are those will be ready to roll tomorrow as well. Awesome. We're we're still adding things to the couple of last minute things, adult program wise. In old school, there's still the big white board as you enter the library, and then we do have our weekly board as you enter the library. And I try to keep like a week and a half in advance with our e sign out front as well. So. I will be putting this in PDF format right on the teen and children's pages and this one on the um, adult page. So, um, so that's that. Any questions about summer reading? Mm -hmm. Summer reading or Pearl Jam? All these events that you have listed here um, for your report, these all happen at the library. That's great. Right. help happen anywhere else. Okay. Uh, 111 people for chair yoga. I was impressed. Oh. That's and I, I've so gone by there and I see once. it here. <laughs> I've seen it here. That's over six here. weeks. Yeah, over six weeks. So that's six okay. Wednesdays. Okay. And that's getting that's ready so to start up again in July as well. Very popular. <laughs> yes. It's been running for a while now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, Joanne La Liberty has a. Um, she has a, a following. The only program I just want to say, in answer to your question, there is one program. It's an outreach that I do with Christopher Heights, and it's a book discussion. Oh, okay. So I go there. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And that's grown from about three or four people to about twelve people. Oh, that's wonderful. When do you do that? I do that once a month. Or yes, once a month. Yeah, and I do all the. I get all the large print books and audio yeah. books, and I have two. I'm I'm also registered as a library for the blind. And um, so that's the Worcester Talking Book Program. Oh, great. 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 And I've got lovely little thing at home. Yeah. I have a child who's dyslexic, so oh, we've good. used it throughout the school. Yeah, they're great. They are wonderful. So I have three people now who are using the Talking Book Program, yeah. and I'll download everything. I have the cassettes, I have the machine, yeah. I do all of it, and I bring those with me as well. So I bring the cassettes. We do I it bring the mail, it's wonderful. <laughs> Apart from the Mass Commission for the Blind? They are part of Perkins Mass Commission for the Blind. Right. I, well, I, I companion a blind School gentleman for the in blind. Oxford School and he blind. subscribes um, and does regularly get books sent to him on these cassette devices. It's the National Library for the Blind. Yeah. It's, yeah, but I'm just talking about the program. I think it is through Perkins. Yes. It is. Yeah. It is, absolutely. That's who you sign up with. Right. So. And if anyone out there who's listening um, is interested in um, becoming part of the Talking Book Program, please do call me at the library, and I can I can set them up. I'm happy to do that. Um, we have the, the device itself. I do. You do. And anyone can sign up and get one. Right. right. Like it's free. It doesn't. Yeah. They it doesn't have, have to go through yeah. me, but the I only can thing facilitate. Is people it. need to be aware yeah, of these the things. Device. Unfortunately, yeah. they may not be. This hopefully is a vehicle by which we can get that information out there. Yep. So, any luck with finding a new Tai Chi instructor? Um, the Tai Chi, unfortunately, we're losing our Tai Chi instructor because she's moving to the Cape. And uh, but she has given me the names of two people. I haven't called them yet, yeah. but I'm thinking though I'm going to have that start up in September if I can yeah. possibly do it. So. Yeah, we do a lot. Um, um, a little plug for the genealogy group. Um, we have a couple of things coming up, um, but we have this Thursday, we have a genealogy group presentation on Civil War research techniques um, by Sarah Campbell. 
This is free. It's sponsored by the Friends of the Library, and um, all are welcome. Um, so it's this Thursday, June 28th, from 6 to 7:30, and next next month in July, I believe they're going. The genealogy group is going to do an intro to genealogy. Mm -hmm. So every now and then we'll run an intro to genealogy, mm -hmm. um, and. The past president of the Mass Society of Genealogists is running it this time, so that's fantastic. So that's a lot of programming stuff. Um, stop by the library um, and pick up some flyers and um, schedules and sign up for summer reading. Looks like we have a summer camp planned here. Camp Nod No Rhymo. <laughs> I, I'm mispronouncing that badly, I know. I'm sorry? It's, uh, it's NaNoWriMo, and it's National no Novel Writing Month. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that is, um, that's Miss Pam's doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she put that in at the very last minute, I thought. You're crazy. Yep. But exactly. anyway, <laughs> you know, nothing to lose because right. it costs us no money. Exactly. So, you know, and if we can encourage kids to start writing, sure. um, it's something that I would really love to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I we, we had a... You know, we've been kicking around a teen writing group, um, an adult writing group. I've had marginal success with that. Um, it's really a matter of, you know, we're a small staff, so it's where we, you know, you can't put your attention everywhere or you don't do anything really well. So that being said, we have, um, I can say with a high degree of certainty that coming up, we are going to attempt to have mini golf inside the library. And I can't give you the specifics of it, but it's a little tease for you. Stay tuned. Okay. It won't be in the summer. That sounds great. <laughs> It'll yeah. probably be on a Saturday. Speaking of Saturdays, no Saturdays in. There are set. We are, we are open this Saturday for Dino Man. Okay. And that is the last Saturday we are open. Um, we're not open Saturdays in July and August. Right. And that that was the case when we were open Saturdays right. normally. Mm -hmm. Um, at least that's what our door says. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be true. <laughs> so it must be true. Um, you know, somewhere down the road we might want to look at, you know, Saturdays in the enough. summer, but, you know, let's... I think your Saturdays throughout the year were a hit. Oh, yeah. 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 We've got, we had so many people coming in and that's thanking us for being open. Totally different crowds of people really? who can't make it. So I always thought that, that would be the case. And a lot of a lot of Nichols students coming oh, really? in. Okay. Yep. I'm glad to hear that. To you know, use the quiet rooms and the quiet space. Yeah, maybe um, Nora was responsible for some of that. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think that was a very successful um, thing to do. Yeah, and um, thank you to the board of selectmen for supporting that mm -hmm. last year in our budget process. Mm -hmm. So um, let's see. Um, Miscellaneous and facilities related items. The front doors, we were talking about this a while ago. Right. I think uh, Ernie just got really busy. And he also, he, he has to wait until the weather's pretty dry to do that kind of work. Mm -hmm. So weather permitting, we're, we're expecting that to happen early to mid-July. That's sanding and polyurethane in our doors, our wooden mm -hmm. doors. I did or, take over something. Would he do that, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. Would he do that? Monday through Friday, or would you do that on a Saturday when no one is going to be using that? Door? It's whenever I can get him to come oh, and do it. <laughs> okay, he's Much. very busy. Yeah. But really, Joyce, it's more weather dependent. Yeah. True. Um, they're not huge jobs for him, and there's a lot of dry time in between. Okay. So sometimes he squeezes this in between his other bigger jobs. So, and it took me. It took me. Um, I had to look for the paint color for the front door. I mean, the side doors. Uh, turns out Ernie has it on record, so. Um, but yeah, if you don't keep up with those kinds of things, they moisture gets in and they expand and, and they crack and get mildew and it's a bad scene. And then you end up replacing the doors. Exactly. So it's, I don't want that yet. No. And we had it done, I want to say, when I first started, so it must have been about four or five years ago. It's, so it's time. It's probably somewhat weather dependent. Too. Oh yeah, absolutely. And. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I was going to mention was that uh, and this is something that some members of the board will not ever witness, but take note of. But uh, the men's room floor is a lot better than it had been. 
Oh, really? I think I still need to have that stripped because what Oh, it looked pretty was, good last time I was in there, yeah. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Okay. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of, um, we have a new custodian starting on J July 2nd, which is Monday. So he'll be, it's George Triba, lives right here in Dudley, and um, he'll be starting the 2nd. He'll be working Monday through Friday from 7 to 9. Um, and he's he's pretty flexible. If I need him to stay a half hour to do a little bit more or some extra work, mm -hmm. he's, he's happy to do that. So too. between 7 to 9, what are, what is his job? Um, what does that entail? So from 7 to 9. So he's just cleaning the bathrooms before the opening of the library, and well, um, know what that entails. Well, it's it's everything custodial related. Mm -hmm. um, the bathrooms, the trash, the vacuuming, the windows, the dusting. Um, he doesn't do all of that. You can't possibly do all I, of that. Yeah, in that's two why. Hours. I'm, yeah. But um, the bathroom. <laughs> we have. I know. The, the bathrooms and the trash will be an everyday thing. Yep. The windows probably every day. Um, the fingerprints and stuff. Not, not all the windows, just the high traffic areas, and yeah. vacuuming the high traffic areas. And then um, he and I will work out a schedule for the rest of the stuff. So we're happy to have him on board. So he's on just for 10 hours a week. That's 10 hours. That's it? That's correct. That's, that's what I have in my budget. For oh, that's what I wanted to know. Thank you. Oh. Karen, what do you do for emergency maintenance? Like if something happens during, this, during the day, um. either I take care of it, Mm -hmm. Or I, if it's if it's during the hours that the buildings and grounds people are still here, I'll call them. Okay. But if it's after hours, it's all us. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I I haven't you know broached the subject with with George yet, mostly because he hasn't started yet. Right. Um, I thought I'd let him get settled first <laughs> before I scared him away. Um, but. It's not out of the question that, you know, he might be available for, you know, emergency type stuff as well. I, I'm not positive about that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I haven't spoken to him about it yet. Um, but he, you know, he seems amenable to, you know, putting in a little bit more time here and there as, as our budget allows. So uh, You also have established a rapport with a number of the local yeah. carpenters, plumbers, yeah. electricians, yeah. the people who right. might be in need. Yeah, we might rely on services. I mean, for, an emergency basis. Cu for a custodial emergency, it's typically, you know, I hate to say it, but it's a bathroom related. Yeah. That, that's, so, um, you know, big emergencies like I have no air conditioning. I have I call right. Renault, and they, you know, they have people yeah. on call. So, um, a lot so, of that is knowing who to call. Right. Exactly. So the circulation position, um, an offer has been extended and uh, accepted just today, as a matter of fact. Um, and so that position will start, uh, that person is due to start on Friday, July 6th. Um, that's replacing the Wednesday, Friday, Saturday person. So in July and August, the, uh, the Saturday hours are absorbed in Wednesday and Friday, and then in the fall, they go back to Saturday hours so that it's a, it's a pretty standard 14 and a half, 15 hour position through the, the year. Um, this person comes to us with experience from working in a library, uh, in the Oxford Library, has experience working the circulation, a children's circulation desk. Um, and I think she'll be a great fit. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is Susan Gustafson. And she's oh, from Oxford. Yes. So she'll, I'll see if she can attend the next meeting. Thank you. Sure. Let's see. I think that's it. Um, if you flip over the page, um, that's two things are on this page. My current budget. Um, and I'm, I'm going to, this is, every year it gets a little bit better. I, I take less and less out of state aid to, to finish off the year. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm fortunate that I have that. I still am using the lost book material. The, I have a revolving fund, which is lost and damaged materials. Um, and I will use up some of that money as well. Because what happens is, even though it's the end of our fiscal year on Friday, I'm still going to have bills coming in for materials that were back ordered, or you know, I, we just haven't gotten the invoices yet. So we have until mid-July to you know, this does not have to be zero by June 30th. Um, 
In fact, it's it's good if it isn't a zero by June thirtieth. Um, so, and then I I'll move over to using you know state aid if I have to, mm -hmm. but this year it shouldn't be very much money um, out of state aid, so that's a good thing. Um, so that's that's pretty much it um, as far as the current year budget. I am in the process right now, in the last week of the fiscal year, I reconcile it with what the town accountant shows, because every now and then there's, you know, oops, this went into this line item, this went into that line item, so we like to make sure we're matched perfectly. Um, and I have done that every year since I've been here. And then, kind of on this side, I haven't transferred it over into a spreadsheet yet, into a, into this, you know, nice format yet, but kind of along the, the bottom or the side edge of that is our FY19 allocated budget number. So, a modest increase, but that's what we've been, that's what we've been um, striving for every year is, you know, a modest increase, not too big of an ask. Um, the only thing that was not approved was the full-time position that I would put in, or the part-time position that I would put in. So we will probably be seeking that in the fall. Any questions about any of this? Um, a question? As, um, as a library board, should we be sending something to our outgoing um, staff member, just wishing her the best of luck and thanking her for her service? I, I mm -hmm. should mention, um, the outgoing staff member, did you say? Yes. Um, she's actually going to stay on and okay. sub because Perfect. I have so many people out on vacation. Perfect. But I think that it would be appropriate to do something, and I can coordinate that if you'd like mm -hmm. um, with you guys. Sure. Uh, you know, as a you know a thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so she's. <laughs> I think she's working more in August than she <laughs> was when she was a regular staff. Can't get away. Oh, definitely. Definitely. What was that? Emotionally connected to oh, the yeah. library as we are emotionally connected to her. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, I mean, she offered to be a sub, and I'm delighted because you know I don't have to train her. She's. Yeah. You know, it really was just a matter good. of not working, the, you know, so right. many quite so many hours. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. um, so it really is. It's the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we went through a few of these others on the item list here. Um, the, uh, I'll just jump to update of trustee bylaws. Um, I've noticed that um, some of the bylaws that we currently have are no longer in sync because uh, the mass the mass general law has been updated. So I need to go through there and sort of compare apples to apples and uh, make adjustments in the bylaws. So at some point. Not tonight, certainly, but over the next uh, couple months, I will. Everyone have a copy of the bylaws? I believe I sent. I, I yeah, I printed a copy. Yeah, I sent them to folks. Yeah, I, I think I handed them out actually at the last meeting. Oh yes, mm -hmm. you did. Yeah, because you handed out more than that, and yeah. I just because I said, oh, I don't <laughs> have this page. Right. Yeah. So yes. Okay. So that's going to be coming up at some point. Okay, and then um, we have a question on the meeting dates. Um, can I present? Certainly. <laughs> certainly. Um, I know it's a conflict for some people to come on a different day and time. I would like to ask if it's possible to change our meeting time to 6.15. I don't know if that's a conflict for everyone on the board, but 5.15 is really difficult for me to get here. And 6.15, it's still difficult, but much easier for me to manage mm -hmm. than 5.15. 6.15 and leaving at the same fourth Tuesday of the month. Yes. Yep. Not changing the day, just asking for an hour. I, I know. It, it, it does affect her. She, I, yeah, we kind of did discuss it, but mm -hmm. I just, 5.15, I work, and that just isn't. 
Are you, are you commuting? Or not? Uh, I work evenings, so I'm going to have to take the time off anyways on the nights we have the meetings. But from five o'clock, it's till six p.m. is very hard, difficult time for my job. At six p.m., it's easier for me to say I need to leave. Okay. Five o'clock is, right. is I mean, really difficult. What I difficult. meant was, are you local? I'm local. Okay. Because I am if local. you're commuting and you're, you're trying to work into a, no. a, a, it's, a no, short window, no, I work window until eight o'clock. I work until eight o'clock at night. So I have to take the evening off anyways. I'm going back after this meeting tonight. I'm going back to finish, but okay. what I'm saying is five o'clock, like from four to six o'clock is really crunch time for that job and it's very hard to leave. Like they weren't happy, I believe, tonight at five. <laughs> but um, six o'clock, things slow down tremendously and I can leave. Like it's easier to ask to leave at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. And I, I offered, I could do Monday mornings, I could do Thursdays, like there are other options, but it seemed like that was difficult for everyone else. So I can still do Tuesdays, but I just asked, could it be at 6.15 or 6.30, like whatever the board. Question would be, is the room available? That's going to be an issue because uh, very yeah. often, tonight we did and I have to check, but sometimes we have someone I did ask Michelle, and she said it wasn't a problem. And I asked really? her. I asked her before the last meeting because okay. I wanted to ask I, I, at there, the last meeting about the change, and she said it wasn't a problem. There have been some so, days or some meetings that we've yeah, had and that. folks chopping at the bit in the hallway. Yeah, yeah for it's us usually the folks in, in the um, I don't know in the town clerk's office who booked the room. So uh, I'm not sure if Michelle would initially know. Okay. That the room yeah, it was days. Michelle that I yeah. asked. We might have so. to check that to verify that mm -hmm. to be sure. Are there any days that you can come earlier than 6.15? I could come Thursdays as early as 4.15. Oh, I could come Fridays, but I don't think anybody really wants to meet on a Friday, so oh. I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's what I thought. My jacket is full. Uh, exactly. And, um, Sorry, buddy. <laughs> when anyone does anyone have an interest in becoming coaching? that up or we could table it until we meet as a full body. I think that's where we need to be, you know, okay. and that, that was the issue with experience on the board and ability right. to serve. Yeah, exactly. So um, I said that I would be willing to serve as a secretary because that is the other board position. I, I would like to make a motion to nominate you as secretary. I wholeheartedly second that motion. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. I will continue on as secretary, and uh, at some point we will take up the um, possibility of the chair becoming co-chair. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, may I ask, uh, are, you've noted that on the agenda, upcoming meeting date, July 24th, is that a problem for anyone? If we have to do, like, want to deal with that now before yeah. we break? Yeah, so we need to think about that. As it stands now, it would be for the same 5:15 time slot. I will, uh, I will make it work next month. And if we can switch in the meantime, we'll yeah. you know, be exactly. Yeah. 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 But no one's on vacation. I think is what we're. I'm asking. just coming back from vacation. Just so. back. <laughs> They're gonna love it. We'll still be in touch. <laughs> So I will check with the uh, <laughs> town clerk regarding the room availability. And I have a motion. We've had uh, Michelle taking minutes too. I don't know whether she she can do them from the recorded. Uh, she did at one point. She did. Yeah. yeah. I, I think she. Uh, yeah. That might be more convenient for her. I'm not sure what her day is, but on 6:15 is probably an extension on that. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. A couple of things that we need to check on yes. there, but uh, yep. not insurmountable. positive light, Karen. <laughs> there are days I get up at 3.30 in the morning and I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I have so see. many of those extra hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm very productive when I get up early though and I say I'm so discouraged but it's my most productive day. Can I make a motion to adjourn? Yes, thank you. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. I knew that would be the case. 6.43.